Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Storyline Subitzer card to review today. So, we are taking a look at a card that is 5'10 with high, high work rates, right footed, with 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. In regards to his in-game traits, he does have the outside foot shot trait, which is obviously very important. Uh, in regards to his in-game ability, he's got 77 acceleration with 85 sprint speed, which is pretty decent for base card stats, because obviously if you were to give him uh, a shadow or a hunter chemistry style, the card actually looks kind of sick. Uh, now in regards to shooting with the card, he's got base card stats of 85 attacking positioning, 82 finishing, 90 shot power, 90 long shots with 82 composure. So those shooting stats are actually quite nice. Uh, one of the things that I'm taking into consideration right now is the hunter chemistry style for the plus 10 in finishing and plus 5 for shot power right there so far. But maybe we could change up the chemistry style a little bit depending on uh, what I'm looking at over here. Passing on the card's actually pretty good for base card stats, not necessarily something you have to improve because passing is weird in this game anyways. Um, but, you know, you could give him an engine chemistry style if you feel like his dribbling is something that you may want to improve because uh, this card doesn't have... It doesn't have an obvious chemistry style in regards to what you would give him because his dribbling is weird, his pace is weird, and his shooting is set up in a certain way. So we're going to be taking a look at the chemistry styles afterwards, right? But dribbling on the card... This is something that we're going to have to take a look at in-game because he is a 5'10 player with high, high work rates. That, with dribbling stats being 76 for agility, 82 for balance, 88 for reactions, and 82 for composure. What I'm actually seeing so far with this card is potentially the shadow chemistry style because when you have high, high work rates, right? Looking at this card, the dribbling just doesn't look good enough to be used in the cam position. You can totally do it 100% for the fun concept. High, high work rates is fantastic to have in that area. However, if you take a look at this card with the shadow chemistry style, giving him a little bit of defensive stats while playing in the center mid or center defensive mid role as one of the, one of the center defensive mid, not as one center defensive mid, just one of them, attacking oriented one. He could be a really fun card. Now, for you, it could be different because you take a look at this card. Maybe the defending stats are not good enough for you to upgrade him that much. And you feel like, hey, maybe I want to upgrade him in other areas. So if you take a look over here, people are giving him the engine or the shadow, which makes a lot of sense. Because with the engine chemistry style, boosting the dribbling balance agility of the card while having the pace that he has and the passing stats that he has, this guy looks like he could potentially make an actual good center mid in the game. And the biggest reason for this is because of his 87 stamina and high, high work rates, right? So we're gonna be taking a look at this card in game. My boy Paul has a team set up perfectly for this. So what I'm actually gonna do, excuse me, is I wanna set up with the 4-3-3, right? So 4-3-3, Japes is 4-3-3. It's, uh, it's like this one right here, I think. Four, three, no, no, no. It's uh, this one right here. Okay. I want to try him out over here. So Sabitzer will be replaced with Bellarabi. Bellarabi will be on that side. Kramarch through the middle. And Sabitzer will play as a right center mid. Now, the way that we're going to line this up is it's going to look like this. We're going to have stay back while attacking for these guys. Uh, this is stay back while attacking cover center. Cut passing lanes. We could even do drop between defenders for that one. The center mids are going to be untouched, right? We're going to have the striker. On false nine and we're gonna experiment with the off the ball movement of Sabitzer going into the attacking positions right so we'll do cut inside get in behind perfect and then again Sabitzer will play in that right center mid position with the tactics of super aggressive right here pressure after possession loss balance five four and seven and we should be good to go so uh, let's try him out in the four triple or the four three three. We'll play him in the center mid position. I may try him out in other areas of the pitch, maybe in the cam position as the game progresses. But I really only see this card strictly being used as a center mid so far. So I am going to give him the engine chemistry style because I want to see what his dribbling is going to be like with the boost, what the pace is going to be like with the boost, and what the passing is going to be like. Right? Because the player. A player like this, it just has to be really fun to use if you're going to be using him in the center mid position. So let's get into a game and see how he plays. French team? Okay. Pretty cool. I think he has like three players off, but like it makes sense because of chemistry links and whatnot. It's a nice team, actually. I like it. If that's full first owner, that'd be dope. Okay, guys, let's... Uh, first of all, we're going to have to switch this camera angle. Because your boy... I don't know. Your, your boy is always changing camera angles. I like to telebroadcast with a nice little... Nice little 20. 
Nice little zero, you know, just uh, see a little bit more of the pitch. You don't see the full pitch, like there's certain runs at the top and the bottom you don't really see, but for me to be able to see Sabitzer, I like the camera angle like this. His movement on the ball is not bad so far. Yeah, it's okay. Engine chemistry style, like he's not going to have like super responsive dribbling, obviously, because of base characteristics, but that's fine. Oh, check out Sabitzer with a defensive play right there. We'll take that. Ah, he actually attacks really well. High, high work rate's really noticeable on the card so far. Nice. Nico Schultz. Marcel Comes close for the ball in that situation. He makes he makes that run. We can't really do a turn right there actually, because the turn actually kind of screws up right there. On the ball, Malong. Marcel Zabitza. A little shielding, nice. This guy will make that run. Adjusts his run, a little pass. Makes a straightforward run right there, so he doesn't adjust his run, which is fine. Goes back into position, right center mid position. The ball a little quick turn. Top class defending. Yeah, it's not bad so far. It seems like a it seems like a pretty a pretty solid concept car in the center mid position. Went in strongly to win the ball. There it is. Oh. Really good challenge. At least he's positioned himself really well right there for that attacking area. Marcel Zabitza. His dribbling's not about the uh, engine chemistry style, actually. Oh, Witzel misses that entire opportunity. Nice. And you don't want to lose possession there. Make a pass right there. Nice. Could potentially score this opportunity actually now with Bellarabi. Little shield. Get away from the opposition here. See if the space opens up. There it is. That's the space you want to look for in the middle. Bam. Touch upwards. Shoot the opportunity. Score. Nicely done. Cool, man. Um, what I will say so far about this card, guys, is that in the center mid position, he's definitely incredibly usable there. But the thing is, is that he is going to be lacking in defensive stats. And the lack of defensive stats... Is definitely a downfall of the card a little bit for that center mid position for the FIFA concept, you know, like it's it's just how gameplay kind of works in this game. However, what I'm seeing so far is that he could also be a fun concept, concept uh, cam card as well because you know he just feels like a cam as well. He, he feels more like a cam than he does as an actual center mid. So we will be switching that um, for this next pause over here. See that little pass that he has right there, and then his off the ball movement, how it's really good into going into empty space really quickly? That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, I didn't register to Sabitzer there. Holds the line well. Boom. Boom. Shot across goal from that angle. Oh. Okay. Interesting. He actually scores from that angle. Nice. Okay, so let's try out the long ball 4 1 2 and 2 with Sabitzer playing up top over here. Yeah, we'll play him in the cam position. What uh, instruction does he have on this? Stay forward. Okay, that's perfect for him. Cool. Marcel Zabitza. Axel Witzel. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Oh, the fake shot stop doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, it would have been nice right there, but Sabitzer was actually moving into the attacking space right there. I could have just shot that opportunity, obviously, but for the sake of the review, I wanted to get the ball to him, right? Shot across goal. Oh. Across goal, like I didn't go near post right there, eh, boys? <laughs> All right, guys, so final verdict on this Sabitzer card. Couple things that we need to talk about, right? So I think the engine chemistry style is the best choice you can give this card, regardless of whether or not you want to play him in a center mid position or in a cam position, because his base shooting stats 
isn't actually that bad in game. He can actually hit the ball really nicely considering the fact that he does have the four-star weak foot. And a big reason for this is because the balance between having 82 composure, 82 finishing with 90 shot power, it's the 90 shot power part that really like makes the difference for this card in regards to shooting. That's the important thing. The engine chemistry style will boost his dribbling, but his base characteristics will still be... Um, you know, his dribbling still won't be that responsive, right? Like, Bellarabi's a little bit more responsive. Bellarabi's obviously not, like, on that level either, but he's still better at dribbling. He still has a little bit of that emphasis thing, but the Sabitzer has a lot of it because he's kind of like a stocky dude in-game. This average body type, very, very noticeable in-game, especially with those dribbling stats. However, when you use this card on your team, if you're making a Bundesliga team and you want to use him for fun in the center mid position or the cam position, both of those positions would be the most ideal ones, right? A card like this is good for future objectives if you need to have a Bundesliga team that, and have players on your team um, that are usable in general. But, you know, he's definitely a cool concept card for sure. The four-star weak foot definitely helps a lot because that with his high, high work rates and 87 stamina, it makes this card incredibly usable, but just more usable in the cam position than the center mid position because you just need to have that really important attacking and defensive balance in regards to the meta um meta stuff right but still a really fun card if you guys want to get him for the bundesliga team by all means do it the f the point of the reviews is to let you guys know what i think is meta what's not meta but you can still have fun with these types of cards i'm just letting you know how he's going to perform in game because in the center mid position his his high high work rates are very very helpful for attacking and defending it's just the lack of defensive stats are a little bit like this right but uh hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys